So I'm a big fan of saving random items because they might come in handy, you never know. And in this case, it was a water bottle cap to help me make a crow's nest. I decided to show you how I went about doing that in the video. Take a look. I hope you get some ideas from it as well. As always, any questions, ask below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching. To get started with this project, the first thing you're going to need is a water bottle cap. And you need to be careful about which ones you go with. You actually want the kind that are thinner and um, not as thick plastic-wise. Uh, this particular bottle I got off of a store brand bottle. Um, reason being that these are a lot easier to work with uh, and they're a little bit more malleable than some other plastic bottle caps that you'll find out there. Um, I also like that it's clear because it helps with getting a sense of how far you want to nip into the bottle cap itself to start getting it ready to make the crow's nest. Um, as you can see on this bottle, there's a ribbing effect that goes around the bottle, obviously so it's easier to open, but in this case it comes in handy. Because what I do is I take my wire clippers, uh, you can also just use nippers if you want to, and about every third rib I nip into the bottle cap. But the important thing here is, is that I don't cut all the way down and through to the base of the cap. What I actually do is use this round circle on the inside. I use the edge as my guide. So I only nip down to about where that edge is going to start. And you can actually see that through the transparency of the plastic on the outside. So what you want to do is go all the way around, nipping it down about every third rib, uh, down to the top of that inner plastic circle. And what happens is your bottle cap is going to flare out. And you can manipulate it with your thumbs to open it up. And you see you get this nice little flaring that happens. So then if you want to leave it like this, you can, because your figures should fit in there, no problem. But what I do, just to kind of give it a better base, is I will take a quarter, just standard US quarter here and I traced it over uh, some foam board and got a pre-cut circle done. So what I'm going to do is take the pre-cut circle of foam board and glue it into the base of the bottle cap and that way it gives it just a little bit more lift so that the figures have more of a base to work on. All right. So now you have the inside with the piece of foam in there. Um, if you want to, you can see there's a little bit of a gap that happens here. You can go around with your glue gun, fill that in, and get that taken care of. But just so you get a sense of difference, you can put your figure in there and it gives it a little bit more wiggle room. Um, once you have your bottle cap fully nipped, you have the edges flared out, you have your lift, if you so choose, of foam board put into the center of your bottle cap. What you then want to start doing is getting your pre-measured one inch wood coffee stirs and you're going to start putting them around the outside. I've already put a couple on so you can start seeing how it's flaring it out more and it's not just a straight up and down linear mode. It's this flare out that gives you more space to put a figure inside so it can actually be a functional crow's nest for you. Um, so really the trick here is you just want to make sure you take your glue gun and you put a bead of glue over each section that you just nipped and you want to be sure that you get your piece of wood lined up with the bottom edge of your bottle cap because that's going to act as your guide to kind of keep your flaring of the wood a little bit more true so it's not going in every which way in different directions on you. Um, but you just want to make sure that as you do this you work quickly because with this thin plastic the glue does tend to cool a little bit faster. So again just make sure you get your wood to line up on the bottom here as best you can and what you're going to do is do this all the way around so that you get your crow's nest set up and ready to go. So I'm going to finish getting the wood pieces around all of this and I'm going to show you what the next step is to carry this through to completion. Alright, so I've gone through. All the sticks are now glued to the outside and as you can see it gives you this look of a crow's nest. Um, you have a couple options from this point. 
Um, I did do the bead of glue around the inside just to sort of fill in that gap a little bit. Uh, if you want to, on the bottom, you can also take some sticks and just basically put them along the base so that the whole thing becomes wood. And you can do the same thing to the interior bit as well if you want. That's again up to your personal interpretation. The next step for this would be take a look at your finished result. If you want to make sure these are all even, then you can go around and nip away any that might have gotten a little bit taller, a little bit shorter. Um, you can also just take a nail file, and this is what I'll do. You can take the nail file and just go around and literally sand your sticks down to the level you want them to be, so they're a little bit more uniform. Um, for this one, I'm kind of leaving it a little bit more uneven because I want this to have sort of a more rough hewn look to it. Um, but then once you get this set up how you want it to look, the next step will be to paint the piece. Once you paint the piece, what you're going to want to do is simply a thin brown wash and get all of your wood pieces stained, essentially. And then you can go back in and start painting it in however you want it to have a weathered effect. Um, personally, what I like to do is the brown wash, and then I will take a lighter brown and do a dry brushing over that. And then I'll actually take a thin gray wash to go over it to give it a very weathered, out in the sea look to the wood. Um, but really, this is just a quick and easy way to create a crow's nest for the ships you might be making and have one that's functional but also pretty cool to look at. Um, and another point is that if you don't want it to have this much gapping like this one has, you can actually put the sticks closer to each other as you're going around gluing. Um, it just means that your hot glue bead might be going over to nipped sections, which is actually okay. The whole point of nipping the bottle cap is just to make sure it starts to flare out as opposed to staying straight up and down. So this is how I went about making the crow's nest that I made for the other ship. Uh, again, the finer details come into how you personally want to finish it. If you want to give it the wood bottom, if you want to give it the wood interior, if you want to black wash it at the very end, whatever you end up doing with it is going to make it your own, but this gives you the basic layout. So enjoy, and as always, please share. If you have any questions, ask below, and I will answer them for you. If you want to keep updated with what it is I'm creating recently, make sure you hit the subscription button, and also you can hit that little bell, and that way it will notify you when I've put up most recent videos. Uh, anyways, thanks very much for watching, and as always, enjoy crafting.